Investor visa requirements. Uh, so one of the requirements is that you have the ability to direct and develop the business uh, when you come to the United States. And so um, when you think of this requirement, what they're really saying is that you cannot just come to the US uh, as an employee or at least on this particular application. There's other applications for investor treaty company employees. Uh, but what they're really trying to say is uh, you, you must have the ability and the skills to develop and direct the, your investment, to develop and direct the business. And so, you know, they're looking to, to see, I mean, what is your experience? What is your past experience? What have you done before? Have you invested in other businesses before? Or have you had experience that's similar to what you're trying to do in the United States? I mean, for example, uh, I mean, a common example would be, you know, if you're going to build a restaurant, have you been a manager of the restaurant before? Have you at least been a, a server or a waiter at the restaurant before? I mean, if you just, uh, if your only knowledge of the restaurant business is, you know, you go in there and eating, that's not going to fly. And so the, looking at the totality of the circumstances, uh, the government looks to see it, we're making a bet on this person. We're allowing this person to come in the United States. We're giving them uh, work authorization. We're giving them um, license and ability to come and exercise their activity in the United States. And so making this bet, they're taking a risk and they're thinking, well, is this risk going to pan out? And is this person committed and you know, all the other requirements. And so uh, that is the direct and develop uh, skill uh, set requirement uh, uh, for treaty investor visa purposes. Thank you for watching.